The state record cutthroat in Wyoming is a 15-pound, 32-inch giant caught back in 1959 out of Native Lake in Sublette County. And who knows if that record will ever be broken, but if it is, there's a chance that fish got its start here at the Wyoming Game and Fish Department's Auburn Hatchery. Home to the state's Snake River cutthroat broodstock, hatchery personnel are nearing the end of their annual spawning efforts, hoping to collect up to 1.2 million eggs for incubation. Here's an interesting wrinkle, though. Auburn Fish Hatchery Superintendent Ed Berry says more than half those eggs will never be stocked in Wyoming for a good reason. More than half of the eggs that we produce are shipped to out-of-state sources and used in trades for warm and cool water fishes back east. So the things that we can't produce in Wyoming, we use the eggs and trade for those. So the Snake River Cutthroat, in addition to just being the, you know, the native cutthroat for this drainage, is also an important trade commodity. In return, Wyoming receives other fish popular with anglers, walleye, catfish, bass, pike, and crappie. But there's still plenty to go around. The Auburn Hatchery takes a portion of the Snake River cutthroat eggs to be raised and stocked locally. The rest are incubated, hatched, and sent to other department facilities to be raised and stocked. Snake River cutthroat spawning begins in April and continues into June. Here's another interesting fact. The Auburn Fish Hatchery is actually located in Idaho. So how did that happen? The water. That's why any hatchery is where it is, and the water source is the most important part of any hatchery. And when they were looking for a place to have a hatchery in extreme western Wyoming, they knew of this source back in the 40s, and so from my understanding, we had an agreement with Idaho where we could run the facility as long as we supplied some of the fish for Idaho. Auburn Hatchery is also the main source of kokanee salmon in Wyoming, receiving over 1.5 million eggs from other department facilities for hatching to then be sent to other facilities, while keeping over 600,000 eggs to raise and stock in places ranging from Flaming Gorge Reservoir near Green River to Rob Roy Reservoir in the Snowy Range. Now for those working on their cut slam, Snake River Cutthroat's native range is the Snake River proper, which makes pursuing these fish a scenic experience as well. Once spring runoff concludes, make a plan and take a weekend trip to the western side of Wyoming. One of these would sure look good in your fishing net. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.